Hey guys, um, I finally uh, got out of the flea market, and I did find a couple of good things. Um, first thing I found uh, was this game called Mousetrap for the Atari 2600. It's valued at uh, $6, rarity of 2. I got it for 2 bucks, so I called that a win. And um, I found this other Atari 2600 game called Carnival. And that is a rarity of two, valued at six dollars. Found it for two dollars. And I found Donkey Kong for the Atari 2600. Uh, this is a rarity of one, so it's really common. Valued at two dollars, and I got it at two dollars. But I really wanted this game in my collection because I remember playing it uh, at a friend's house, uh, my friend Carmela's house when I was a kid, and I actually don't have this game in my Atari collection, so I really wanted it. And I also found Mario Brothers, the original Mario Brothers for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Now, this game is a rarity of three, valued at five dollars. I got it for two dollars and fifty cents. And uh, my friend Eric has it, and I've been looking for it forever. It's uh, one of the original releases for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Finally found it. Glad I found it. I think this is my biggest win for the day. Um, finally have Mario Brothers in my Nintendo collection. Uh, the next game I have here is uh, a Wing Commander. Now, uh, this is actually Wing Commander 2, The Secret Missions. And uh, it's a uh, rarity of five, so it's somewhat rare. And um, it has va it's valued at ten dollars. I got it for two dollars and fifty cents. And uh, I'll be honest, I, I haven't really sp like spoken my piece about PC games on consoles. At least on sixteen-bit consoles, they usually suck. So this is probably going to be horse manure. It's probably not going to be that great, but that's okay. At least I got it now. Uh, the next game I have is a game called Spectre for the Super Nintendo. Uh, rarity of two, uh, valued at six dollars. I got it for two dollars, and we'll see how it is. I I don't know. I don't even know what it's about, but you know, it's two bucks, whatever. Um, next game I have is Aliens vs Predator for the Super Nintendo. The guy cut me a deal. It says six dollars, but he said I could have it for five. And it actually is valued at five dollars. It's a rarity of two, and I got it for five, so it's a wash. And um, the reason he cut that down to uh, from six to five for Alien vs Predator is because I also bought this game, which is called uh, Super Soccer Champ, and it's for the Super Nintendo. Rarity of two, valued at two dollars, but I got it for three. So I kind of was ripped off, but I had never seen this game anywhere in the wild. And sometimes I guess it, the rarity depends on like where you live. Maybe it's like in a different region of the U.S. Uh, this particular game is more common, but I haven't seen it anywhere in the Chicagoland area, so I wanted it. Um, the next game I have is uh, Yakuza 2 for PlayStation 2, and um, this game is a sealed game. It's brand new. The guy sold it to me for seven dollars. It's probably worth about twenty. Um, maybe more, twenty nine, ninety nine. I don't know at, at retail value. Glad I got it. I think it was stolen, but um, it's mine now, so whatever. And the last game I have is Smash Super Smash Brothers Melee for the GameCube. Um, it's valued actually at twenty dollars used, and this is a used game, but it was in perfect condition. And the lady sold it to me for seven bucks, and I actually own this game already, but. Um, I'm, you know, I bring video games to work, and we play them there, and to let you guys know, all my coworkers, I never bring my mint condition games over to work, because I know they could get trashed, so I always bring, like, a copy of something, and, um, this was $7 at GameStop, it's like $19.99, I'll call it a win, uh, guys, get ready, we're playing this at work, um, Overall, big time win at the Wolf's Flea Market in Rosemont. Uh, only four more days, I think, le or four more weekends left at this at this particular location until the season until the season is over. I'm about to cry. <laughs> anyway, um, great job today on this Sunday at Wolf's Flea Market.